lovelies welcome to my channel it's your girl EJ organic skincare if I'm watching for the first time you are highly welcome and if I return a subscriber thank you thank you for always coming back to watch my video yes in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to make your seven days whitening black soap yes this black soap we are about to formulate now it's going to whiten your skin give you that flawless glowing skin here so my dear, if you want to know how we formulate this soap, stay with us to the end of this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Here I see you in my workstation. Hi lovelies, welcome to our workstation. Like I said, in today's tutorial, I will be making a whitening black soap. Yeah, seven days whitening black soap. This black soap is going to whiten your skin within seven days. Yes, believe me, it's going to whiten your skin within seven days and it's going to give you that flawless, glowing skin. Your skin is going to look flawless. So, we'll be using two of our Ghana black soap and we'll be using this color ozone soap. This soap, my dear, this is a whitening soap, yes, but this soap should not be used directly on the skin. Whenever you want to use this soap, please endeavor to dilute it with another soap. Or you should not even use this soap more than the percentage you are using the black soap. Please. Because I've seen so many people, because it's a whitening soap, you want to whiten your skin, that will pop out, add this soap even more than the black soap. Please. It's not good. This soap can give you green vein. It can react to your skin and so many other things. If you don't want to use this soap as well, you can use any bar soap of your choice. It's not must you use this soap. You can use any other bar soap. I'm going to make a tutorial on how I make my 4D whitening black soap. Believe me, this black soap, I don't even I didn't even use this soap on in formulating my 4D whitening black soap, but believe me, it whitens your skin. There are so many other things you can use, there are so many other soaps you can use that is not this to achieve what you want so we'll be using this and we're using the three colors yes i just want to mix the color we are using the three colors this is half half please this is not up to one i just cost this out this is not even up to half so this is what we'll be using and two of our ghana black soap yes so we shaded this in and also our ghana black soap as well done shading in our Ghana black soap the nice thing for us to do is to add the next thing for us to do is to add our Ghana black soap to it So I'm going in with my Ghana white soap as well. This will help your soap to lather and I'm using just two. Yes, so. What we're going to do now is to soak our soap. There are so many ways to soak your soap. Like I always say, you can you must not use what I use in soaking my soap to soak it. You can use a rice water. Rice water is very good. That if you are not going to be adding rice powder to your soap, you can use your rice water to soak your soap. You can use your zobo, like I say. Zobo is an anti-aging. 
that will help to clear fine line wrinkles and so many other things you can use it you can use your you can also use your green tea green tea also contains anti-aging it's an antioxidant anti-aging you can use it to soak your soap but i don't advise you using ordinary water you can use your fruit you can use your shower gels so many other things you can use to soak your soap so but i'll be using my hibiscus infused water to soak this one yes or you can use any other thing if you can't lay your hand i have hibiscus infused water back to our workstation so this is after two days and as you can see our soap has fully melted yes so we don't have the strength to pound your soap this is the best way for you to go it has melted we're now adding every other ingredients that we'll be using so i didn't add in my anti-pimple ball because i didn't have one the day i soaked the soap but if you have yours you can just soak it together with the soap i'll be adding it in now I'll be going in with my anti pimple ball. How are we to miss properly? I'll just add it to three mix. Mm, I'll mix it when mixing the soap. I'll mix everything inside it well. So, it's now for us to begin to add in all the ingredients we are going to use to make this a super white thing black soap. So, we'll be going in with our milk. I already measured it out. I have two two tablespoons of my milk. Next, I'll be adding in my carrot powder, and I'm going in with two tablespoons as well. Two tablespoons of my carrot powder. Next, I'll be adding in my neem powder. In the video that I did about glowing, I said the work of all those powders name powder is good it will help to is an antibacterial and it will help in preventing reaction and also it's for it's very good for those that have acne yes i'm going in with my rice powder and i'm more going to the two tablespoon of my rice powder i'm going in with my sulfur I'm going in with, let me just say, one tablespoon of my sulfur. Next, I'll be. Oh, Wait, I'll add this one later. I'm going in with my goat milk. Now, I've already added milk, so I will not be using this goat milk again. You can use your goat milk, you can use your milk. So, I'm going in with my turmeric powder. I'm using two tablespoon of my turmeric powder. So I'll be going in with my mulberry extract. Use my mulberry extract. And I'm using two tablespoons, so it's not over here. I'm using two tablespoons of my mulberry extract. Yes. And this is my activated charcoal. I'm using two tablespoons of my activated charcoal. Next, I'm going in with my koji tea. And I'm going in with two tablespoons as well. So, it's now time for me to add in my eyes. I'm going in with my honey and I'm using three tablespoons of my honey. Please, three. Three. Uh, let me make it four because I want this to moisturize the skin very well so i'm going in with four tablespoons of my honey honey will help to add moisture to the skin next i'll be going in with my
This is my orange peel oil and I'm going in with two tablespoons of my orange peel oil. You can use your orange peel powder. Let me make it three because I will not be adding in much oils. Next is just my coconut oil. You can choose to use your almond oil, but if you are using a coconut oil, please use cold pressed coconut oil. Yes. So, I'll be adding in my glycerin. And I'm going with one tablespoon, no, I'm two tablespoons, I mean, of my glycerin. Next, I'll be adding in my emiro. This herbal water. And I'm going in with one, two, three. So, next thing I'll be adding is my whitening serums. My whitening serum, I'm using my citroclair serum. Yes, I'm using one one bottle of the sweet clear serum. I used everything. I'll be using Next, I'll be adding my Labijanis carrot, lightning carrot body oil. I added two tablespoons. I'll be adding my skin free milk. I used four tablespoons of my skin free meal. Believe me, this oil, this soap is going to whiten your skin. So I'll mix everything together now. Don't mind me, I prefer using my hands to mix. I'll still adding another thing after mix, you know. I'll still adding other things after mixing some things. We are done mixing our soap, yes. We are done mixing the soap, like I said, I was to add another thing. It's time for me to add my preservative because I added water to this. I'll be adding in preservative and my fragrance. I like adding fragrance to my soap. So, I'll be adding, it's time for me to add my preservative. Let's just uh, add a 10 ml of my preservative and I'm as well going with 10 ml of my fragrance. You can choose to add, you can prefer not to add. I like adding my fragrance to myself. So, this is our soap. Believe me, this is safe for you to use on your skin. You don't have to add add some people are adding bleach powder add this if you want to whiten up your skin you should have patience don't use the 32 days action three days action 
well it's all about choice yes so this is safe for you to use on your skin and believe me it will whiten your skin to whiten your skin flawlessly because we used so many things that you benefit from to formulate the soap so this is our soap I, as you can see it's not too watery like this it's okay like this it's not too hard it's not because it's black soap it has to be too hard no, it's okay like this you are cool to go with this texture so I'm done mixing our soap my dear so if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like and share my videos and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video thank you bye